Hey, it's Blaze. Today I have a guide for green gorillas. They have a combat level of 106, 97 hit points, are aggressive with a max hit of 11. They use crush melee attacks and are immune to poison. They require 70 slayer and in order to damage them, you'll need a leaf blade for melee users. For rangers, you'll want broad projectiles and for mages, you'll want the magic dart spell. The King Karask has a 1 out of 200% chance of spawning after being activated at any slayer master shop by buying the bigger and better unlock for 150 points. They have a 295 combat level, 45 max hit, 2767 slayer XP. Use crush melee as well. They are also immune to venom and poison. You will want to use a slayer helm or black mask if you're on task and it can be imbued at the nightmare zone for range and mage. The Saradam and God Sword heals health and prey without damaging them. You can wear a blessing in an arrow slot for a prayer bonus of one. For the alchemists, you may want to bring fire runes or a staff, but nature runes are a common drop, so you may not need to worry about those. If you're running a long distance, you can bring energy potions. Once the peaches are a great way to heal yourself for a long trip. A herb sack and seed box are good, and the gym bag is all right here. You can sacrifice a ring slot for the ring of wealth to auto grab coin drops you get. Cannons cannot be placed in the dungeon, and the Guthans set effect will not heal you like the Saradam and God Sword does on these. If you have a rune pouch, you can use that to save space using alk runes and spells, and the Slayer Staff or the Staff of the Dead can auto cost the Magic Dart spell. Karask are only located at the end of the Fremenic Slayer dungeon past 81 and 62 agility shortcuts and all the other creatures. You can get there by Slayer Ring Teleport, Fairy Ring Code AJR, teleport to your house if it's at Relica, or create a modified house tablet to Relica with a regular house tablet and a scroll to redirection from Nightmare Zone. And then head southeast past the Golden Apple Tree to the dungeon. From Camelot, run north. Take a left at the first fork and head towards Relica over a bridge, then east past a level 48 agility log bridge shortcut. You can use the Eagle transport system and run south, or if the bridge from the quest whore from the deep is repaired, you can teleport to Barbarian Outpost. Using a games necklace, jump north over the lighthouse stones, and then east over the bridge towards the dungeon. You can also use an enchanted lyre from the Fremenic Trials quest and head east or use the music cape teleport, walk north towards the bridge, and then east. The safe spots are in the southeast of the Kurask area's entrance, or the northwest spot of their area, behind some rocks. The drop table contains snapdragon and torstal seeds, gray alkables, leaf-bladed weapons, the mystic robe top light color, Nature rooms are a common drop. They also give good amounts of renar weeds, coins, limpwort roots, white berries, papaya fruit, coconuts, big bones, and a chance for a kurask head to place in your player house. Here's the loot I gained from killing 1,000 updated green gorillas. To the left is the names of the drops and how many I gained, and on the right is their estimated values from most expensive to least expensive. The actual amount of gold I received from selling everything is on the bottom right beside the RuneScape and OS buddy guide prices. I received about 413 combat experience per and 137 health experience and the estimate on my loot is about 6100 a kill. With no potions or prayer enhances I received about 12,000 slayer experience an hour, 52,000 combat experience an hour, 17,000 health experience an hour, giving me about 700,000 GP an hour. With super potions only, I received about 15,000 slayer experience an hour, 64,000 combat experience an hour, and 21,000 health experience an hour, giving me around 900,000 gold an hour. And when using super potions and piety, I received about 18,000 slayer experience an hour, 76,000 combat experience an hour, and 25,000 health experience an hour, giving me about 1.1 million gold an hour. Prices are still leveling out from the release, but it's more AFK and similar profit to Wyverns while requiring a lower Slayer level. I hope you enjoyed my guide, if so please comment, like, and subscribe for more content since you've made it this far, and thanks for watching. Peace!